Okay, we are moving right along in our soapbox derby car. Feels good getting some accomplishment going, right, huh? Okay, so for this next step, you're going to need to reach into your pocket or your piggy bank because you're going to need a quarter. Sounds weird, but I'm going to show you why in just a second. All right, you two, cough up a quarter. I know one of you got a quarter on you. Let's do it. Okay, I got one. All right, next time, don't let me down. The steering back contains quarter inch by two and a quarter inch elevator bolts, quarter inch by two inch elevator bolts, a 332nd by one and three quarter inch cotter pin, quarter inch lock washers, quarter inch nuts, quarter inch flat washers, cable pulleys, and three quarter inch flat washers. All right, at this point in time, you're gonna need your brake and steering mount. Also, you're gonna need that quarter. You're gonna drop that down in the recessed area where the steering shaft will go. Now insert a one quarter inch by two inch elevator bolt through the floorboard bottom at the rear of the brake steering mount hole. Press it through the floorboard, then install a quarter inch flat washer and a quarter inch nut on the bolt and draw it flush with the bottom of the floorboard. Oh, I started to hear the wood smash. I think it's time to give up. Okay, then go ahead and remove the nut and washer. Now repeat the steps for the second rear hole location. Place the brake steering mount on top of the quarter inch by two inch elevator bolt then place the quarter inch flat washer, then a lock washer on that bolt on top of the brake steering mount. Then install a quarter inch nut on the bolt, but don't completely tighten that nut. All right, after you've done that, insert a one quarter inch by two and a quarter inch elevator bolt through the bottom of the floorboard at the front of the brake steering mount hole. Install a quarter inch flat washer and a quarter inch nut, and then draw the bolt flush with the bottom of the floorboard. Now go ahead and remove just the nut. Next, place a cable pulley on the elevator bolt on top of the brake steering mount, followed by a quarter inch lock washer on top of the cable pulley. And once you've done that, install a quarter inch nut on the elevator bolt, but don't completely tighten it. Now repeat those steps for the second front brake steering bolt cable pulley location. All right, we got our brake steering mount in place and it is now time to tighten those nuts. But first, we wanna make sure that we got clearance. So we're gonna stick the brake plunger up through the floorboard and through the brake steering mount hole, just like that. That's how it's supposed to look. So I'd say we're ready to tighten those nuts. But check this out. Here's our steering wheel. Looks like a bow tie, it's ultra cool, and we can go either direction with it. Which direction do you think we should go? You're taking too long, we're just gonna move forward. All right, let's tighten those nuts. First, insert the steering shaft through the round hole on the brake steering mount. Then raise the steering wheel and slide the three quarter inch flat washer on the bottom of the steering wheel shaft. Push the steering wheel down through the brake steering mount hole until the shaft rests on top of the quarter that we installed in the first step. Now push the 3 quarter inch flat washer up against the brake steering mount and insert the 3 30 seconds by 1 and 3 quarter inch cotter pin through the upper steering wheel shaft hole. Then bend the end of the cotter pin around the steering wheel shaft. Alright, there you have it. Steering wheel installed. Now we're ready for the cables.